Hello everyone, welcome. I want to welcome you to this special session. Again, Le Col, training ride with legends. And I tell you, today is about cruise control. I love that. But what is, what is cruise control? Because for everyone, cruise control is individually. But first of all now, uh, have fun, enjoy, and ride the next three minutes on your watts. I will ride, yeah, he's ridden 190 watts for three minutes. And this session is about being comfortable and some different uh, intensities. Uh, we don't say like crazy roller coaster because we do not go like full gas or just too slow. We try to maintain some certain zones. Um, like I said, cruise control, uh, a bit more, a bit less. But I think most important is have fun, enjoy. I will uh, yeah, I'll go through with you when we go harder, when we go easier. And um, yeah, you are at home, I'm kind of at home. I have my screen, I hope you have installed everything rightly. So then you can also, uh, yeah, cruise. Cruise with me. Uh, but always remember what you push, uh, it's different than what I push. Um, control your efforts. Um, I can't control it because I don't know how you feel. So um, yeah, look on, on your data. Good cadence, that's what is important as well. And yeah, don't be stressed. Uh, it's yeah, over 40 minutes and I hope you have all some liquids. Or even you might have a, next to you a gel. Um, today also drinking is important. Yeah, it's not the whole uh, session just like 10 minutes the same, the same watts. We already have here now 10 seconds to go and then take a small deep breath and then we go up already. Yeah, I don't say we double it, but now it's like 270 watts for me. New zone, uh, two minutes. And my advice to you is try to have your cadence between 85, 95. And I have currently 270. I don't know on your side that um, when you are in an indoor session, and this is all about also that I'm not your trainer, but I want to be your supervisor. I want uh, to give you some, yeah, some, some good inputs. How you can, uh, yeah, with with this we do with Le Col to to help you to make your riding skills, in terms of condition, in terms of experience, better. And you can always look back and look say, hey. Uh, this session has helped me because it's an alternate training as well. Like we say sometimes, it's not like, okay, we cruise. It's your cruise control. So two minutes done. And now we have a small effort just for one minute. And that's why it's like rhythm changes, power changes. And soon we're gonna sweat, but that's normal. Yeah, during the winter time, oh, especially, I found it's really good to those cruise control rides. But more later now, it's time, 
time to push. 370 is already harder than 270. So it's 370 now. If it's hard, maybe you go with more cadence. And uh, this also can help. Three, two, one. But don't worry, it's not about just going slow. Going three down, 300. And this is why it's an alternate knot. And when I can't talk, it's because I also have to push. But even I push less, uh, the breathing is almost more. But that's because my heart rate is slower than maybe my legs are pushing. So normally on those one minute efforts or even less, after those intervals or zones you're reaching, your heart rate, I don't say it's higher, but your breathing is just more. So it feels less hard on pushing, but <laughs> on breathing is more. You're lucky guys, you doesn't need to talk. But, I mean, if I can help you to support you, I'm happy for that. Give you something, benefits for you, that you might then use also on the road, or uh, especially uh, when you ride indoor, even better, to make you, first of all, better person, but then also a yeah, better rider on your level and on your skills. <sighs> Try to really maintain the 300 watts. And we are soon ready to go down again, but not on 100 watts. No, we go down on 270, so just a tiny bit less. And sometimes it's not going harder, harder. It's like, of course, hard for you, for your breathing, for your, for your legs. But also it's the way of, you regulate your body. You use your breathing. You try to kind of find a way of relaxing or or just this pushing less because sometimes you want to push less but then you push not enough anymore and then you go down so here is also about cruise control in the learning the learning process because might a lot of you are just beginners and it's not just okay I'm riding two hours and we ride right 100 or 200 watts or whatever how many watts uh, learning skills on the bike is also when it comes to such sessions that you learn uh, something for you, your muscles, your body, also your breathing. So here I'm, I know I'm an experienced guy on pedaling, on my talking, but here I have multiple tasks to do. So in terms of also breathing, I have to concentrate in my way that watching, pushing, the right push, and to not just talk like, what the hell is he talking? So again, 10 seconds, and then we go up to 370, that we're gonna do multiple times this Right, so, okay, 
100 watts more for me. Be concentrated. Try to find a good pace, cadence, and of course the pushing. Three, two, one, down to 300. And now you can have as good legs you want, but it all comes from the breathing. So the breathing can stress, but the breathing can help you. That, uh, that you, have, you have to get somehow it's enough oxygen into your body instead of <laughs> so deep breath can can definitely help especially when it comes now with this uh, two minutes on my 300 watts on my screen here when we go down afterwards on the next zone that we hit the 145 for me I think even there when you're in this zone and the next one, try to breathe really deep. And I don't say focus it, but try to use a good cadence on a nice pedaling. Because uh, after three minutes from the start, we have changed kind of a roller coaster way. Some different efforts, some different powers. Your heart rate went a bit up and down, but not properly down. So, uh, here we go. 25 seconds to go, and then use your proper breath, your proper air. You can find that. Because in generally in life, sometimes when you see people stressed next to you, you might gonna say, hey, relax. Uh, calm while you stress take a deep breath in and out this is what I say to you now recovery have a small drink a few compliments on the bike and cruise but in a controlled way that you still push a bit but that you're not like okay it doesn't need to push because in terms of your legs and your whole metabolism, this is gonna help you to recover. It's really a, if you have a fan, uh, it's, I don't say too late, but this session is not about stopping. Get off the bike and uh, open your windows. I think uh, the fresh air you should have installed earlier. He's really like these three minutes, use them on this like in and out, slowly breathing. On time trials, what's important breathing, even on an attack mode, I mean, it's not just, oh, I go, okay, I go. Uh, when you go, you need your body full ready. And that's why also there, uh, you can have as power you want, but I think on the end is a combination of the way you, I want to do the attacks and, and also is your body ready? Have you enough oxygen in your body? Because like we have seen before, uh, uh, we was on roughly 370 on my, on my uh, sch uh, schedule here. But then that was only one minute, but then I missed out on the end this, this breathing. So when you talk, push, then it's a double intensity to 
properly being also on how concentrated you are. So one minute to go and maximize this recovery minutes because it's not over. We're gonna hit, we're gonna hit again some up and downs. For me, some this cruise control rides are perfectly also in the afternoon or evening, or sometimes it can be even in the morning when you wake up. Like to start the day with the cruise control session, I think you go different into your office. So we have a few seconds to go, and we're kicking up. 270. I think it's 1995 cadence. It's okay. But still, I give you indications of how we will properly ride those rides. But I can't say like how you feel. I mean, it has to feel comfortable the way you push. But if you just has started a few weeks ago to ride your bike, you bought a smart trainer, I mean, it's a different way than when you have people around that are doing thousands of miles per year. But the cool thing is, when we're on the bike, we're all the same. So everyone has to push. Everyone has to breathe. And here is not about who is faster or who is uh, just slower. Here's about the way you do it. And this is what is priority number one. So, cruise, you have to find your rhythm. Because when you ride with friends outside and your friends are stronger, Sometimes it comes up that there starts already the first mistake that you follow their pace. Especially when you go up a climb. I can't lose the wheel. I don't want to be the last one. So it's a mistake. So also here again, we are a few seconds before the VO2. It's 370, what I have here. So I have to focus now again on my intensity on my way on my ah, acceleration is kind of just have to focus Try to control it. Don't go less. And especially don't go more. It's about learning on a certain pace to ride. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. But come on. It's not over, still keep the pressure, the pedals, but stay smooth and easy, kind of relaxed, but I know you're not relaxed, because to push still those amount of watts are still needing concentration that you can hold this effort, this two minutes effort. We go only a few watts less after, but then we're gonna hit again the VO2. I mean, I don't know where you are, from where you come from, how much you ride. 
for me it's just nice you ride your bike because I believe definitely 120,000 million percent that this something good. If it's virtual now or just in the nature, alone with friends, colleagues, partners, uh, colleagues, whatever, business people, professionals, non-professionals, I always call it as a as mental loading. Like it's unique. I mean, what do you destroy? <laughs> Nothing. You just get some pain or some neck problem. But this is all just musculars because I mean it's such a dynamic that it's just so good for your body. So I'll go down. I have 30 watts less to push, but I have to find a way of going less on push because if if just we stop it, I might have difficulties to find the, the rhythm back. And this cruise control is also learning, definitely is learning about the different zones, the different watts to push. On a time trial, it's just push pedals. I mean, on a prologue, you push full gas. On a longer time trial, you have to maintain certain, yeah, certain pace. Because if you go over threshold, you produce too early. Huh? This famous acid in your legs, then it's also quite fast over and also here. Um, People ask me, hey, how did you do some TT training? I said, yeah, sometimes just try to control those certain watts I'm pushing because in a road race, you can't control it. So in time trial training, sometimes it was also to, about to maintain a certain watts on flat roads, on uphill, whatever, to learn your body, but the whole system you, the, the bike, your mind, and the outdoor, the nature, get as a unit to, to get something proper out for your goals you want to reach. Our goal now is the two minutes are done, and we're gonna reach now this one minute. That hurts a bit on my side. So, push more, you might get your cadence a bit higher. You might also want to stay in the same gear, it's not a problem. If not, just uh, change your gears. Try to definitely maintain this, the power you have on your screen, on your end. I have it here, and I'm three, four watts actually we have to increase. Don't go down. We're still at 300. <clears throat> it's not yet the relaxed mode. After this two minutes, you can definitely uh, take time in terms of just push the pedals and have a drink, get your sweat away. And here still, don't forget to stop breathing and especially pedaling, because it might have hurt you. And here's even better now, that the pain you get will make you work 
on your your power you have to push. So 60 seconds left for this block. So focus, concentrate. Because if you reach that O, you feel better. You feel better and better. Because I know you all you want to do it rightly. Because here are all those learnings. 30 seconds, then we can recover. All of you, including myself. Then we hit the last 15 minutes. We hit the last 15 with three minutes easy. And there, please, really easy. But don't stop. Just to reduce your power. I think you do all a good job. And if you drink, if you take the sweat away, get back into position. I think just recover, spin the legs, but not too high and also not too low. And it's all about recover because we have again an alternate up and downs. We're going to reach again two times this uh, 370 on my end, but. What's on your end, you have it in the hands. You must definitely feel a bit tired after, but that's normal. I mean, we do a over 40 minutes session and trainers sometimes said, you know, if you ride indoor an hour, you can almost calculate one and a half hours to two hours outdoor riding. I said, yeah, but hey, one hour is one hour. I said, no, but indoor, the efforts are different. You almost can't relax because you're always continuing pedaling. Uh, you sweat. Your system is just way under more stress. The position is not the same and it's like, okay, it's cruise control. No, here's like definitely, if you don't push, <laughs> your, your avatar is standing still and you go nowhere. And this is not about this session. This session is about these 40 minutes that we maintain those paces, those zones we get, like training schedule. Uh, the schedule we have work for you. So we have this last block. And then uh, you know what to do after that. Jumping straight under the shower because if you sweat and you do all those rides in terms of these different zones, I mean, uh, you sweat and it's better not standing around. So, the last block in 15 seconds. So again, focus, but not to go full guys. Again, focus in terms of breathing, Cadence, the position. So, you definitely feel your legs. I mean, I feel them because from before, it's just cruising, cruising easy, almost double it to watts. And so it's normal that you should feel something. I mean, every bike rider feels. It's just individually. And you might try also to find a rhythm that it's, that you felt before even good. This can help. But if your condition is not as good, <clears throat> definitely this uh, last block is harder. But as more you do <clears throat> kind of these sessions, as better you get. This is just the nature. So please, continuing 
your riding or your rides. Because you cannot do this 10 days and then you stop for two weeks and then you restart for two, three days and then again, uh, many days, nothing. Uh, you never reach a certain, it's not about the condition, but a certain stability. So continuation, less is more. It's not about always trying to do three, four, five, whatever hour or even here now, uh, those indoor rides we do, I mean, sometimes it can be only half an hour or less, but if you do the right ride, your right efforts, this can help. And this is what I'm using even more now than before, because I'm saying less is more. Because less doesn't mean it's not good enough, just the right. So please, concentrate, but push mode. Less, just tiny bit less. But I have the feeling I can't stop doing more, but that's not the case. So just a tiny bit less. Still focus on your breathing, on your pedaling, and especially also the way you sit on your bike. It's a whole combination that can help you to progress. That's why don't lose your focus. The bike race is the same if you go in an attack. <laughs> After the attack is even more important because if you lose the focus, other guys attacking you and you might too late or you're gonna miss it. Here is not about attacking each other. It's about each other supporting. I'm doing it on my way for you. There are 12 sessions, different, different made for all of you to become better, to learn something, to make it a new experience. And if you ride your bike, you definitely don't make something wrong. Wherever you are, how good you are, whatever. So, five seconds to go for this zone. Then, again, tiny bit less. For me, it's actually harder to find the rhythm when you, when you have to push less because before I was used to push, push, but it's never too late to learn. If we have done this two minutes, we're gonna hit the last VO2, one minute on my end, what I have to push, and, and remember, this might gonna hurt most of all, of those zones we have, but uh, after that, after that one minute, do not stop. Because here, you stretch your legs even more out, 
because you think ah, it's over. No, you have to maintain a certain pace, but with less watts. And then, then we definitely cruise in the control mode. So, one minute hard, super hard, two minutes, super focus. And this mix, this with, this is gonna help. Get ready. Breathe in, breathe out. Think on something positive. What you might have got the last few days, or even whenever it was. And use this flow when it comes definitely when you have to push. This might gonna support you. Because here's not a race, so. Ready guys? Last minute of real intensity, spin, push, and focus. And now it hurts. Twenty sec, come on. Three, two, one. Come on, don't stop. Just go down with your power. Don't lose the momentum that your breathing doesn't stop. You have to continuing. So you push less, but your breathing is more. So try to control it. Use the flow. shorter session it is, the more you have to focus and do it properly. There's no excuses. And we mostly said always pain is only temporary, but the memory lasts forever. And this is again today the same. It should be a memorable session with some insights, some, uh, some sweaty time but good time, fun time. Don't lose concentration, 30 seconds left and then it's about easy. It's about relaxing, but still pushing on a low, 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 low watts. Then we can recover and you will see you're gonna feel better. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, thank you. Thank you, really. I have joined this session. Something new, something different. Normally I got pushed when a sports director on the TT bike, especially in the car, he and I'm on the bike, they could push me now. I wanted to support you to, to help you. And uh, you wanna watch this? Yeah, definitely. The call is doing an amazing job. The training with the legends. I think here are opportunities to, to meet different people, different athletes, different legends. Go on the folder from local training with the legends and there you're gonna see soon 
all differences of exercises because uh, this one was cruise control. This was small, I don't say roller coaster. Uh, here might be was a bit less about recovery, but about learning also maintaining certain watts for certain minutes. Uh, about reading. Oh. Uh, it wasn't about sweating because this is everyone's individually uh, situation at home. Drinking. And now it's definitely go down on 80 cadence. Push what on your screen is written. I can push here 145. I'm trying to maintain it because I feel as more I'm doing it on the right way, my body is recovering and I want to recover, especially when you go out on the bike, under the shower, relax, take a deep breath as well, just three times in and out under the shower and all the best and thank you and see you soon.